Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and yes, I'm still here. Um, I have to apologize, I've been gone for what, four weeks? Two weeks ago, four weeks ago, the in-laws decided they were going to take down this um, barrier, I guess, or a wall that they had built around a couple trees that was two foot tall out of four by fours because they were rotting out. And they wanted me to put up a retaining wall out of these cement blocks, which I did. I have a saw that cuts them. But in the process, my hip started bothering me. And about the time I got done, it was to the point where I could hardly walk. I took a few days off from work, and I told the wife, I said, this is not a pulled muscle. So I went down to the med center, and I had some x-rays taken, and found out that my hips are getting bad, uh, to the point where I couldn't even walk. And the lady said, they'll get a little better. But she said, there's no no surgery that you can do right now. You want to wait until you can't get around. What? You want to wait until it's at this point all the time. So it did get better and hey, I'm I'm walking around. So then this this work we did was in preparation of taking down some big maple trees which we hired down. And the wife's daughter said, "Well, I got a friend that wants all the wood." So fine, you know, so okay, now the cut day comes and and she comes over with her trailer on her truck. And I said, where's your friend? Well, he's going to stay home at his house and cut the wood up as I bring it. So this means I have to cut it and load it. I just took it home and burned it myself. So we got that done. We got the trees. I cleared up. And in the meantime of digging and moving stuff around, I, <laughs> I threw out my back. So I've been laid up for a couple of weeks with that. I missed, I don't know, almost a week of work. But the back is getting better. I got this brace on that the doctor, doctor told me to get. So basically, I'm falling apart. You know, you get old, crap happens. But this video that we're going to do is for Ruby, Ruby B. She wants to know how to adjust her brake cable on her turtle because she can't push the pedal down enough to lift up on the latch and lock the parking brake. And I have the same problem with this machine. When I shut it off, I just leave it in gear. But I don't use it that much. I just bought it basically for a prop so I can show you how to fix things. So we're going to show you how to loosen the brake cable to get the safety so it latches or the parking brake. So I got it sitting over here. There's two spots where you can adjust the brake cable. The first one I'm going to show you is typical on all the machines. It's down on the chain case. But it's already as loose as you can get it. And this one is still too tight. Now I get a lot of comments on snappers, turtles, and SRs. That is only my terminology to explain to you which body style I'm talking about. The snappers have the round tube. That's the most popular, or I guess the most widely manufactured. Then when Briggs and Stratton bought them, they started building these turtles, which was a big mistake. Now they're back to the round tubes. The SRs are the machines with the rectangular tubes. Typically they are a better machine. I don't like them personally because they're harder to work on. 
but they have bearings in the fenders instead of bushings, but not all of them. If you're buying one for parts, make sure you check to see if it has bearings or bushings, because some have bushings. The SRs they haven't made in 20 years. They were a more of a tough series, like the uh, regular snappers had a tough series. I believe they made them because they had implements you could put on your snapper. Like we all use the Thatchers. That's not a big issue. Some of them had plows. Some of them had snow blowers. Well, you need a little bit tougher machine to handle that weight that you're going to be pushing with it. So they had ball bearings in the fenders. They had eight pinion gears in the differential, which are no longer available. And yes, I'm, I'm trying to get my fixture built so I can manufacture these things and sell them. Um, so let's go down and I'll show you this spot on the chain case where you can adjust your brakes. Let me grab a flashlight while I'm going here. I'm going to have to kneel because I'm not really bending too good yet. Okay, this is the adjustment here for the brake. The farther you back this screw out, the tighter it makes the brake cable. As you can see, mine is all the way down, as loose as you can get it. The brake still works good, but you can't put it in uh, park. Now I have to go get some help to man the camera because where the other end of this cable is on the front of this machine, I cannot get the camera in there and do what I need to do with both hands. So I'm going to go get a camera operator to help me out today. Typically, I always do this by myself. Um, the next video I do on the turtle is going to be replacing the rack on the steering. I got mine out, but let me tell you, it is a job. Um, there's another plate up there. I believe if I remove that, it'll make it a lot easier. We'll see. But the next video is going to be on linkages for your carburetor. I owe that to one of my viewers that wants to see it. So let me go grab my helper and we'll try to get that video finished up on this goofy cable. I'll be right back. Okay, for the second half, this is your brake cable. And you have to, if I can do it without getting in your way, you have to lift up on this to give yourself enough slack to change what we have to change in here. You've got to tip this thing and pull the end of the cable out of this hole. There's two ferrules on here. You want to take one off and then try to get this back in here. That will give you enough slack to get your parking brake set. So that's all you have to do to loosen the cable enough to use your parking brake. And if you have any other questions, just send me an email. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. So long. Okay, sorry about that. My camera operator, it's the first time they've ever done this. 
and didn't know that I was sideways. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I did forget to mention, <coughs> once you loosen up uh, the cable by removing one ferrule, you might want to try it to see if it's loose enough. And if you can get the parking brake set, then you want to make sure the clutch is working properly and the brakes are working. If by loosening that cable up, you loosen both of them, the brakes and the clutch. So you may have to go back down on the chain case and tighten that a little bit to get the brakes to work the way you want them. And be extremely careful standing these things up. They do not recommend you stand them up because they are so top heavy once they're standing up because of this massive hunk of iron they got on the end of this thing. So be careful. The, the best thing I can suggest is get one of them rope hoists and either hook it to a rafter in your garage or a big limb on a tree in your yard to lift this thing up with. And uh, like I said before, if you need any help, send me an email. And uh, until next time, work safe, have fun, please subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. So long.